Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Destiny video. Guiding Light here back every single week with another episode of Destiny's Their Predictions. So before we get into the predictions guys, this video is just going to basically be me opening up what was a one hour loot video from running Vanguard Heroic Strikes. So if any of you guys were interested in what it looks like when you're running strikes and like what kind of rewards and stuff you guys can get from that, this is pretty much what it's like. That's why you're seeing so many engrams and just so much stuff happening in this video is because i just gotten back from running an entire hour of the Heroic Strikes. So I'm sure you guys will enjoy looking at some of these rewards and just everything that I got while leveling up in the Rise of Iron. But with all that being said, guys, let's hop into these predictions. And as always, guys, we're going to start off this week with the Trials of Osiris prediction. So for those of you guys who are new or just haven't seen one of these predictions videos before, I do think that the Trials of Osiris map has a little bit of something to do with the gear that Zer Zer sells. Certain maps that are basically long range maps, he'll sell something like last week like the Mita. It was last exit which was more of a mid to long range map and he did sell the Mita. So like last week that was a perfect example of what I mean. The map and the gear and stuff can relate quite often with Zer. So that is why I do incorporate these into the predictions. So this time around I'm really hoping for the new Trials of Osiris map, the Floating Gardens. So this map has just been introduced with the Rise of Iron DLC and it is very similar to Pantheon. It has a lot of the same designs that you would see on Pantheon and it has the exact same three lane setup that we are used to seeing on Pantheon. So this is definitely going to be a pretty sweaty map. I have a feeling if it is the Trials of Osiris map, definitely be on the lookout for the Snipers, Outbreak Primes, and I'm, of course the Mighty Mold Tool I'm sure will make its way into this map. So definitely be on the lookout for that this week if that is the map. Now for the actual Zerg predictions, we're going to start this week off with Titan class. As you see, I am on my Titan here, so we might as well just start this week off with the Titans. So if the map is actually going to be Floating Gardens, I could definitely see Zerg bringing the new exotic for the Titans, the Dune Marchers. So these are an amazing set of Titan legs. They actually will increase your turn radius, and they do also increase your movement speed. So these legs are somewhat similar to the Mark 44 stand sides. They just won't have any effect on your shoulder charge. However, these boots really can change the overall playstyle of a Titan. The new and improved movement speed can definitely make a crazy difference, and you're basically just a massive tank with maximum speed running around at the map, which is really amazing. If you're running max armor with these boots, and you know that Titans skate pretty well, you don't even need to turn up your agility, and you can still move pretty much at the maximum speed. Now, these leg pieces are really going to come in handy in Trials of Osiris. They are the only thing that makes it possible to really outrun those Storm Chawlers and those Blade Dancers quite easily. You just turn around and run away. And that way you don't have to worry about team shotting sometimes with the supers. You're definitely going to be able to get away with these Dune Marchers. So if you don't have the Dune Marchers yet, I would definitely pick them up. They're mostly for the PvP though. So if you're more of a PvE player, they're not really going to do too much for you. But in the PvP, they are basically a shotgunner's dream and can really make a difference when you're running on your Titan. Now for the Hunters this week, I don't think you guys are going to be seeing a new exotic, but I definitely think you guys are going to be getting a decent one. I think you guys this week are going to be seeing the Acleophage Symbiote. Now this is an exotic helmet that does grant your golden gun an additional bullet. Now due to the Rise of Iron's golden gun patch, the timer on the golden gun no longer just continuously runs down. It just has a set timer now and it will only bring down your bar when you shoot a bullet. So it's actually a lot easier to get golden gun kills now and it has been buffed a little bit and the helmet has seen a bit of a buff due to that change as well. I would definitely pick up this Acleophage Symbiote if you're a gunslinger. And if you haven't tested it out ever since that Rise of Iron update, I would definitely go ahead and throw that on for Trials as well. It's going to grant you an additional Golden Gun shot, making it easier to take out a super if someone rushes up on you, or really just give you that additional shot just in case you miss. And because of that new timer on the Golden Gun, this helmet can definitely come in handy a little bit more than previously. So I would definitely pick this up if you're a PvP player, but again, PvE players definitely really should stay away from this. It's not really that great, and you should really try more for this Celestial Nighthawk. So this time around for the Warlocks, I think you guys are going to be getting the Ram. Now if you guys don't know what that is, it actually does grant you additional armor while on your Voidwalker class. And it does also in grant, it also does grant lifesteal on every melee hit, so that is actually quite great for Trials as well. Now we finally do have the weapon to... Now we finally do have the weapon as well. Now I did manage to get that correct last week by predicting the Might of Multi-Tool. So this time around with Floating Gardens being the map, it is more of a mid-range, somewhat of a long-range type map. Now, I could see him selling some sort of hand cannon like the Hawk Moon, but he could potentially also sell some sort of close-range type weapon like a Fusion, or possibly even a sidearm like the Trespasser. That is a sidearm that we still have not seen from Zer, although it was brought early 
before the Rise of Irons launch, so a lot of people do still have it. I unfortunately do not. I could still really see him selling the sidearm just because of these tight corners and a lot of the mid-range situations you can get into. That Trustpasser is quite effective in those situations. And I could easily see Zer selling that Trustpasser and that gun being quite effective and seen quite a lot this weekend in Trials if that is the map. So that is definitely my prediction. As always guys, leave your predictions down in the comments below. I definitely do like checking those out. I do read all the comments you guys leave and I definitely do like to check out and see who gets those right as well. A lot of people in the comments do usually get some of those predictions right, and it's definitely awesome to see that. So if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to drop a like down below, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some Trials of Osiris. Peace.